Hello! How's it going? Um, so, I'm here today with um, the Tuesday special. I haven't really decided on a real theme for Tuesday, but um, yeah, you know how it goes. I still haven't found any old advice columns. Um, anyhow, um, I have a very special guest with me today. Um, some of you might be familiar with um, her product, which is available in grocery chains and supermarkets nationwide um, in the United States. So, um, here she is. Yay! M M Mrs. Butterworth! Hey, Vampire Bear, how are you doing? Um, hi, Mrs. Butterworth. Um, I just wanted to tell you, yes, that I really love your maple syrup. It sure is delicious. Um, hmm. what, what's wrong? I'm sorry, Vampire Bear, but actually, I don't have maple syrup. Oh, <laughs> um, what? Mm -mm. You see, Vampire Bear, actually, Mrs. Butterworth isn't maple syrup, but rather, it's corn syrup that's, well, dyed to look like maple syrup. Um, this is kind of embarrassing for me. Um, but why would... Why would you sell maple syrup that's colored like, um, uh, why would you sell corn syrup that looks like maple syrup? I mean, uh, uh, that corn syrup is so, so bad for you. I know vampire bear, but you see, businesses work by making money. Maple syrup actually costs a lot of money to um, produce. Um, Right, right. And, um, well, corn syrup is really cheap because corn is subsidized. I don't know what she's talking about. Right, yes, corn is subsidized. Anyway, vampire bear, that's why my syrup is only, well, it's pretty inexpensive. And real maple syrup, besides being well, more expensive, you have to refrigerate it after you're done um, opening it for the first time. She's saying this like it's a big deal. Right, right, re refrigerate it. Um, yeah. Uh, get out of my sight! I don't want you on my show anymore, Mrs. Frauderworth. Get, get out of here. I'm so sorry. I'm ashamed. I thought Mrs. Butterworth was maple syrup, but she's not. Um, maybe next week for Tuesday's episode, I can have a more um, pleasant subject. Um, until then, bye for now.